Volvo has publicly stated that they are going all EV by the year 2030. And that's just around the corner, really. And they're aggressively introducing new models like these two new ones. We have the EX90 and this EX30. You know what this little small SUV electric has in common with the Porsche Carrera 911 4S? The same zero to 60, yeah. This is the quickest accelerating Volvo ever, but you're not gonna pay that huge price like that 911. Let's have a look. Now this EX30 is based on its own platform. This is not a gas vehicle turned into an electric vehicle like the XC40. So if you wanna compare this to the XC40, it is a little bit smaller. 7.6 inches shorter, wheelbase is two inches shorter, is 3.9 inches lower and 1.1 inches narrower. So it does have a very small footprint. Now up front, you'll see a brand new redesigned front here. This is not just a plugged in thing they've added on here. This is purposely designed for aerodynamics. You have the signature Thor's hammer headlamps, except look at what they've done to them. They've digitized them for the modern times. I think it looks really, really great. Now let's have a look under the hood. Open up the hood and you will see a nice, clean underbonnet. Here you do have a small front, big enough for your charging cable and your safety kit right there. Nice and tidy. Let's have a look around the side. By the way, if you're wondering, this color is called cloud blue. It's cloudy on a sunny day here. Uh, standard are 18 inch wheels. You can get up to 19 or 20 inch that we have right here. If you see here, we have a frameless Mirror design, that's also gonna help with the aerodynamics. Now, proximity sensors, guess what? You don't need them. You can use your phone as a key. You walk up to the vehicle, the doors are gonna unlock for you. Also, you can actually use your phone as a key to start the car and drive it as well. Open up the back door. It all opens a pretty decent amount, almost 90 degrees, so it's easy to get in and out. We'll have a look inside in a second, but let me just quickly show you. Headroom, knee room, and this seat is actually fairly far back. Remember, this is a small SUV. Let's take a look in the rear. At the back, a very smooth design. You can't dismiss the vertical tail lamps. Very standard on Volvos, except this is being kind of modernized. It kind of re reminds me of almost like a battery indicator. It really uh, works well with this vehicle. We have a roof spoiler. We have a wiper back here, of course, nice clean. Nice arrow here because we don't need a tailpipe. Open up the back. We have a power lift. This is an option. You can actually have it hands-free as well. Now, when we open the back, it's really wide, this opening, and the load-in height is very nice as well. If you want more room, we can lift up the floor and actually change the dimensions of how deep it goes. Total capacity, 904 liters of storage here. Hit that close button, let's check out inside. Okay, what a fresh interior on this EX30. I gotta say, uh, you have a squared off steering wheel and that's gonna help you for visibility right here. You can see a sensor behind here and that's actually gonna see if you're actually paying attention. That's gonna help in a lot of their driving aids they have. You'll notice there is there's no IP, there's no instrument panel here. Everything is on this 12 and a half inch screen here. It's a Google-based system. You do get Apple wireless CarPlay uh, now on this. 360 camera is available and get this, this is the best thing. I've been saying this for years. It drives me nuts for Volvo products that have a backup camera and a 360 camera, but they don't show at the same time. On this new system, they will show at the same time. Uh, up top, a humongous, panoramic roof. Uh, there is no shade on here, but it's tinted quite well. Now we're sitting in these seats. There's all different materials you can get. This EX30 has a 25% lower carbon footprint than the XC40 Recharge. Lots of recycled materials here. Uh, lots of proprietary systems that Volvo has come out with. So when you look at the interior of the car, you can take this kind of sustainable mindset a little bit further. The car comes in two themes. You have recycled theme and you have uh, a natural theme. So there's two recycled themes on the interior. In one case, we have uh, interiors made from recycled denim from blue jeans. 
We have uh, recycled material in the seats from plastic bottles, corks that's reused from the wine industry, and even pine oils from the Swedish forests. And that creates this material that Volvo's invented called Nordico. And that's basically a leather replacement. So it gives you the feel of leather while still being more sustainable. This car uses 25% recycled aluminum, 17% recycled steel, and 17% recycled plastic in the vehicle. These are some of the most carbon heavy components to create from scratch in the manufacturing process itself. But what's good about scan designs is they really make good use of their space. We have the center armrest here, but check it out. Uh, we just push here and we have hidden, hidden <laughs> cup holders. That is really, really cool. Down below, we have wireless charging for two phones and you have this shelf system in here. We have USB-C and you can cover it up so it acts like a platform. You can put your, your handbag there or anything you want in there. You need extra room. There is a glove box button. Hit that. Down, it deploys the glove box right here. So, man, oh man, this thing is, it's quite the amazing interior. Also, check out the Harman Kardon front speaker sound bar. Feels like I'm actually at home right now. This is like a really high-end Scandinavian apartment in here. Let's talk about what's driving this vehicle. There are two different options with the same size battery. Now this battery is even smaller than the XC40 Recharge, yet you're not compromising range or anything. So for the rear wheel drive, you have 268 horsepower. When you go into the all wheel drive version, you're adding an extra 154 horsepower motor to the front, giving you a total of 422 horsepower. So that's gonna let you get to 100 kilometers an hour in just 3.6 seconds, zero to 60, 3.4 seconds. As I mentioned, the quickest accelerating Volvo ever on here. Now range wise, you're not even gonna take a big penalty getting the all wheel drive version because the rear wheel drive gets 442 kilometers or 275 miles, but the all wheel drive will still give you 426 kilometers or 264 miles. That's almost the same range. And if you want to charge it fast, DC fast charging up to 153 kilowatts. So basically just over 20 minutes from 10 to 80%. So yeah, such a rocket. So how quick really is 3.4 seconds? Well, we mentioned as fast as a Porsche 911, as quick as the new Ionic 5N, which has over 600 horsepower or the EV6 GT. Like this thing really is a rocket. So Volvo really is listening because I hear it all the time. We don't all need large three row SUVs and that's why this vehicle exists. So who is this EX30 marketed for? So the EX30 is marketed to pretty much all Canadians. However, you know, we do tend to think because of the smaller size of the vehicle that it will appeal more to city dwellers. It will also appeal to Canadians who might not necessarily be as familiar with the brand as um, other Volvo owners would be. So we anticipate that this car will also help us broaden our Canadian audience, introduce people to the brand and get them loving Volvo as a whole. We have Canadian pricing right now. The EX30 will start at $53,700. We don't have the all-wheel drive pricing yet, but get this, this will qualify for both provincial and federal rebates in Canada, which is a lot of money off of that, that price there. Make sure to check in your local area what rebates are available for your EVs. So you know what, the proof is in the pudding though. We are in the driver's seat right now, but the next time you see us in the seat on a video, we will be driving this and seeing how it really does perform on our everyday tasks and how it really accelerates and drives. Really looking forward to that. So make sure to hit that bell notification to know when this next video comes out. Thanks for watching, see you on the next video.